Hello beautiful people and welcome back to Creating with Mimi. Today we are in the outdoor living room space and I cannot wait to share with you guys what I've come up with this year. So the question came up as to why do we have an outdoor living space? And for me, it's just to connect with nature, to be outside. It relaxes me, it reduces my stress level, and it's good for your health. This is why I put so much energy, or a little energy, or maybe too much energy into the outdoor living space. It is everything. It is an extension of my interior home, but mainly when we're outside in the summer, spring, and early winter, it is absolutely amazing. This year, it's no different. I started off cleaning things with the pressure washer and the sprayer. And I wanted to address some of the vegetation issues, i.e. a lack of flowers, real flowers in the backyard. I went over to Home Depot because my rose bushes were just hanging all over the place. I know I, you would say, where is the gardener? Well, when I see him, I will address these issues. But in the meantime, in between time, I went over to Home Depot to find all of the things that I needed in order to get these bushes upright again. The tool that you see me utilizing is a tool that I picked up at Amazon and I'll put the link below and what it does is it softens up the dirt and it allows you to plant every year or throughout the season more efficiently. My rose area or my planter for these impatience that I'm going to be using pretty much is hard because it's covered with the roots from the palm trees. The palm trees have been here over 20 years and they are just growing outrageous. So this tool allows me to loosen up the soil, plant my, flo my flowers and be more efficient a lot faster. I love the color of the Impatient. Uh, I decided to get multi, so there's pink, whites, loaves of color, and different variations in the pink. So that's all that I'm gonna have for real plants other than the rose bushes, which you don't really need to do too much for them to flourish. So I cleaned up everything and I took the sofa that was in this area from last year, if you recall, and I placed it in the balcony patio. That was amazing. This entire past year, enjoying that space with the sofa and the turf. I loved walking out on the turf instead of a dirty surface or every time I wanted to go out, I needed to clean up, sweep up the area from the dust with the turf that's not necessarily needed. I'll come back to the turf a little bit later. Making the decision as to how I wanted to utilize the space, I decided to take two chairs from this location and two chairs from another area and paint them out black. I think that was one of the most impactful and best decisions that I made was to paint out the chairs black. They are simply gorgeous. Painting out the furniture was so easy. I have this paint sprayer and that was another good investment. I think I want to say a couple of years ago was to purchase the sprayer. The prep work or prepping for the painting is the hardest part. Once you prep and make sure everything else is covered up, you're literally spraying patio furniture. I think I sprayed these four chairs in about five 10 minutes. Let it dry and then spray on a second coat. Now you guys know I love a crisp white pillow cover or cushion cover and this year I needed to replace some of the cushions that I previously utilized because we store them outdoors and 
the weather was so bad, I didn't know that the lid had come off of the container that the pillow cushions are stored in. I get a lot of questions about the covers. All I do is get fabric, take it to my local upholstery, and ask them to make pillow covers for me. You can do the same thing and switch your colors from year to year if that's what you choose to do. The fabric that I'm using, it's not an outdoor fabric. It is a simple cotton fabric and it's pre-washed. No matter the color, whether I'm using white or the green that I have at the fireplace, obviously it is a good fabric, but I sit them out and I've had the green fabric for about three years now. And this white, prior to me replacing this set, maybe about six years, it lasts a long time. Next, I wanted to add a console table. I do not want to spend money unnecessarily and I want to use what I already have. I decided to take two planners and create a console table out of the two planners. And this is how I created the beautiful new console table that I absolutely love. The table is two by 10 by 72. I made sure that it was long enough for me to utilize for a number of reasons. One would be to place drinks on behind the chairs, or I can turn it into a serving buffet and place food items or hot trays when we're outdoor dining. I'm just taking the vases that I had outdoor in another area and I'm actually going to affix them to the board with L brackets. Really simple, very inexpensive. So what you see is I'm drilling the L brackets into the board and then I'll place the vase in between all four brackets. The opening of the vase is a lot larger than the diameter of the board, so I flip the vase and the bottom would be attached to the board and the traditional opening of the vase will be placed on the ground. Totally love the way this turned out very inexpensive. I used what I already had and I just attached it with L brackets. I debated back and forth as to whether or not I was going to place a rug on top of the turf, which is not a big deal. I place indoor rugs outdoor all the time, but I didn't know if I wanted to see more of the green turf or if I wanted to create that contrast. So I elected to choose this rug, which is a white wool rug, and it has very little uh, contrasting colors, some black, some gray, and it has a scroll pattern absolutely gorgeous and what I get from the contrast between the turf and the rug it's nothing short of amazing Now let's talk about this gorgeous cocktail table. <laughs> Another one of my finds, I was at my local home goods store and the top of the table is actually a piece of wall art and I decided to make a table out of the wall art. Love, love, love. It is 36 inches in diameter and it's white. It has a scroll pattern on top of the table to give me texture that I'm looking for. The base of the table is just a random table that I had outside in another location and I decided to put things together with the L brackets. L brackets are $2, so now I have a gorgeous cocktail table which is perfect.
I love a great cocktail table in any decor setting because it sets the tone and it's usually the centerpiece or one focal point in a room. Uh, this is no different. I love to see color, so I am setting this cocktail table to look absolutely amazing from inside and out. Next, I painted some vases that I picked up for like $39. This is what the vase looked like before. It has like a gray and white speckle, which was not gonna work for my decor style. I wanna use very little gray and minimize the number of colors with one punch of color. So I painted these out black and they are simply gorgeous. The black is so rich and it just complements everything going on. Then I decided to take the topiary I wanted to place the topiary inside of the black vase, but obviously the box was too large. This is the way I purchased the topiary with the boxwood around it because it's supposed to be a boxwood topiary. I removed the box, placed the topiary inside of the black vase and added lighting just for a small detail. For a punch of color, I'm adding fuchsia or pink or hot pink and <laughs> everything came together absolutely amazing. I love this hot pink. I simply love the color. Uh, pink for the season is a little unusual for outdoor living spaces, but I am simply loving it. The branches look so real. So I've got so much of the white and black going on, popping in a fuchsia color or any color, any color for a punch of color is absolutely the ticket. It's that contrast, the pink against the white, the black against the white, the gray against the white. Contrast is what creates the interest for this space. Next, I decided to round out the space by placing the round tables at each end. The tables are a glass top, but it was a see-through glass top. I wanted to create as much white as possible, so I painted out the glass top. So that is that added texture of layers on top of layers, and it just extends my color palette. Next are these wood candle holders that I found at Hobby Lobby. They were the perfect height, but I didn't want to use wood in this area, and I painted them out white. I will place the candle holders on the console table. At first I thought about putting another plant back there, but I wanted to create more white more depth for color behind this gorgeous fuchsia. Some of the candle holders are glass clear and some of them are painted white and it turned out absolutely perfect. Moving to the concrete seating area, I added more greenery, more plants, and more luscious vuva. I don't even know if that's a word, but I wanted everything to be extremely luscious and the vases are not new and the plants aren't new. I just placed different plants that I already had inside of the vase. I used noodles to center it instead of sand or dirt, which makes it very difficult when you want to move a pot around. You So with the noodles, it's not heavy and I feel so comfortable moving pots around freely when I just want to make a simple change. 
The pots are different height. One is large. It is actually the same pot that I have made the console table out of. And I placed a topiary. Both flower pots are lit with solar lights and which is gorgeous at night. The solar base is sitting behind the plant and it's getting enough sun during the day and at night it automatically comes on. I recommend that you guys seriously consider purchasing these twinkle lights. They light up any space. I have used them over the entire backyard. I will be placing them in the dining area. I can't wait for you guys to see what my final look for the dining room will be this summer. Since I moved the cocktail table to the center of the living room, I moved the fire pit over to the side. I did want to continue and enjoy that fire pit on more cooler nights, and I think it's in the perfect spot. Adds to the decor, and I absolutely love it. The cream de la cream in the outdoor living space, I think, is the wall art that is behind me. This art was originally in the living room maybe three or four years ago. Now I place it outside and it stands center stage and ready for the bow. Absolutely love it. It completes the space and it really allows my outdoor living to feel like I'm indoors and that is the goal to create a space outdoor that I would love to sit in. It has every single color that I am utilizing in the outdoor space. The pink, beige, the black, the white. Absolutely gorgeous. It just brings everything together and creates the perfect outdoor living space. Enjoy the reveal. I hope that you guys will get some tips and some tricks that you can utilize in your space. Until next time, make every single day a great day.
If you like this video, hit that like button or subscribe. You will be notified each time there is a new upload. Until next time, make every day a great day.